סירו כ"ד, דיבור רבון על סקנד חלק, דף קא. In Chaye Aran, Chaye Aran, he says, I heard from our master, our teacher, and our rabbi, Zichron and Vrocha, Shekol Echad Yeshlo Bchinas Malfonim Malacha, what is before and what is after. You know that there is, they say that a person should never inquire, you know, what is after the world and what was before the world. Malafarim and Malaacha. It's this is not our domain. This is not. Uh, he says every person has this bechina of Malafarim and Malaacha. What is before you and what is behind you? That you should not inquire according to one's madrega. And he says and this is the explanation is before. He says. He says we were we were ordered not to think and not to investigate. Malafonim alaachim, Moseches Chagiga. The Rebbe uh, reveals here that this warning is to every single person according to his madrega, according to his asaga, according to his to his where he's holding in the muna in pashut in naive emuna. We are looking for naive, simple naive emuna. But the oilam, you know, but the guy being naive is 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 a derogatory thing. But us, it's a shame with me. Ptoy Hashem said, "I'm naive. I'm I'm tmimistic." Ki ki eshlo kal each one according to his madrega, according to where he's holding with the moon. That's how he has his own personal what's before and what's after, and every person is warned not to go to those places. The Chazal said very much so, until they say that everybody who plunges themselves in these kind of philosophical investigations, he says he would have been better enough not to be born with love. You have to hold in simple, naive emuna, without getting any, any, any kind of, of, of regions which are not Negea to you. And Rabbeinu told us that the main aid to come to simple emuna is Tefillah. Reb Nossin says it a lot, give me a muna, because if you're a tzaddik, you also yichli, a tzaddik will live, you know, with his amuna. Be, because in the entire life of a person, all his actions uh, uh, and all the mitzvahs that he does, he has to do with the muna. And it commensurately with the midah, with, the, 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 with the amuna that he has, that he has in doing his things, the more perfect they are, the more and more you have in the mitzvahs that you are mekayim, the more perfect your mitzvahs are. The kol mitzvah secha emuno. The main thing is the emuno. The main means that the perfection of the mitzvah, the shlemus of the mitzvah, is all is 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 all wrapped up in the emuno that is in it. Same thing. The main importance, the main importance of the tefillah, is how much emuno there is. And when you speak the Burim Tashem Yisbarach, if they have a Muna in them, then the Tefillah is better. And Bevadai, Bevadai, that Tefillah, you know, is more mesugal to, 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 to be accepted. That's, that's the reason why Yisbaridus, Yisbaridus is so vital. Because a person <coughs> can come to Shul and take the sitter and just rush through the, the tefillah and worry whether there's coffee or there isn't any coffee before davening, after davening or whatever. Uh, and the davening itself is just passing, in the, it's a blur. You know, it's like a... But when a person goes to make his bodhidus, you're speaking, you're talking to Hashem, you don't know what you're going to say. You have no idea what you're going to say. This is exactly where you find out you're standing face to face with where's your moon holding. I mean, you start making this way, does you feel like you're talking to the wall? What am I doing here, Machal? You feel alone. Well, who am I talking to? You get, you get, 
with what you don't believe in Hashem? Yes, of course you believe in Hashem. But it's it's a Claudius de Kamona, it's it's a general Amona, like the the Oilem believes, I believe in God. Bo Hashem, very good. But it's not a Muna Proteus, it's not in, 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 in particular. You talk to Kodesh Baruch you speak to him, you pour your heart to him. You say this, you say that. There are other big bullies, even once you have a Muna, you know how I should talk, how I should not talk, what I should say, what I should not say, you know, all the oldies in Yom. But his Vedadus forces a person into facing his own Muna. Where you're holding as far as Muna is concerned. Once you're already there, there's in Muna in general that Hashem is listening to you. And then there's a Muna Meprotius deeper and deeper and deeper. When you speak to Kodesh Baruch Hu, you know, sometimes, you know, you speak to Kodesh Baruch Hu, you ask him for something for a long time. And you're not getting it. And the, 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 you get, you come to his way to this, and you don't feel like talking about it anymore. Why I don't feel like talking about it anymore? Hashem has been giving me, he doesn't want to give it to me. How do I know if he wants to give me? Maybe he doesn't want to give it to me at all. You know, this, this is also a chisor and a muna. And he says, I believe it's like says that the main thing is the muna b'pshitis, b'tmimis, and naive muna. The fact that Hashem hasn't given it to me until now doesn't mean he doesn't want to give it to me. It means the time has not come. I have to keep on asking. I have to keep on asking until Hashem will give me. Ah, when a person goes a long time without the, 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 the getting the, the, the whatever he's asking for. The main thing, the main emuna is the fact that you come and you keep on asking for it. That's working on the emuna itself. That I feel like I'm going to get it. I don't feel like I'm going to get it. I'm fed up already. I'm sick and tired already. I'm impatient already. Whatever the shyness you want to call about yourself, you don't dare for it. But that's the truth. This is exactly where you're holding. I don't know. Whatever it is. The fact that you keep on talking about it, you keep on davening for it, you keep on asking for it, even though it doesn't seem any closer than it was two years ago, or three years ago, or ten years ago. You're just as far as you always were. You keep on doing it. That in itself is the avoid of a muna. At kam di bore muna. Okay,